Hello there, my flock. The Bad Raven here with the man, the myth, the legend. True Drop! He's in the house. Heck yeah. We're here today to go see what? The Suicide Squad. Not Suicide Squad, but The Suicide Squad. Yeah, we don't want squad. you to get confused between Suicide Squad and The Suicide Squad. Yeah. Because the big difference is the The. The The. Probably one of the worst movie titles I have ever seen in my entire life. It's almost as bad as Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Uh, they can top that one. I don't think they can top that one. As far as the movie goes, we expect nothing. I know you hear that every time we do one of these movies. No, like seriously though, I know nothing about this movie. I don't know if it's... Like, if it's since it's called The Suicide Squad, I don't know if it's like a soft reboot. I don't know if it's a sequel. Some people say it's a sequel. Some people say it's a sequel, then... From what I understand, this is a sequel. But they did not call it Suicide Squad 2. I don't know why he couldn't just call it Suicide Squad 2, but they had to make it complicated. I think they had... A lot of people didn't like the, the first one, which I did like it. I did not... Mean, I, the, the first Suicide Squad, Squad movie got way too much hate. That was a good movie. I know that Jared Leto's Joker really made a lot of people angry about how he portrayed the character and everything. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it was still a pretty good movie. I mean, Will Smith was great in it, a dead shot. Margot Robbie, of course, as uh, exactly. Harley Quinn, she was awesome. Looked awesome, too. Mm -hmm. And she was just really, really good in that movie. Now, I did not see, me and my dad did not see Birds of Prey. We did not see that movie because we had no interest in that movie. No. This one look, made by James Gunn, which made the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. And me and my dad really, like really love the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. So we're hoping it's going to be like more of that level. Good uh, comedy story somewhere around there. Yeah, we're so, hoping yeah. for something good. We definitely want to have a good feeling. It's a movie that really surprises us. We'd like to have one of those instead of just okay. Yeah. You know, we've had a lot of okay movies lately. <laughs> yeah, a lot of okay, like rent, red box rental movies. Hopefully this is a good just go see it movie. Hopefully it's one of those. But yeah. All right. Well, we just want to say we're going to go in and see what we uh, think about the movie. And we'll come back and give you our spoiler free reviews. Heck yeah. All right. So we'll see you on the other side. See you on the other side. Okay, my flock. We're back. The yeah, movie's we're over. The movie's <laughs> done. We're for. And do you want to start first, or do you want me to start first? I, I, I might, I'll probably start first this time because okay. you started first last time right. with, with Snake Eyes. This probably this is not. I'm gonna be different when it comes to the online people because I just gotta say how I really feel about it. This possibly could be one of the worst superhero movies I've ever seen of my entire life. Like, that's not even sugarcoating it. Like, it was bad. It was beyond bad. The jokes were not, was not funny. The movie was way too long. The editing was way too long. I felt like I sat there for like five hours. Kept going on. Kept going on. And it was just not a good movie. Not a good look on DC was really disappointed. James Gunn, I don't know what he was doing with it. I mean, if you like it, that's completely fine with me. I did not feel any attachment to the characters. That was the biggest problem. I did not care for Harley Quinn. I did not care for any of the characters in this or Suicide Squad. At least in the original Suicide Squad, I cared. I cared about Boomerang. I cared about uh, the Lightning Torch guy or whatever his name was. The, mm -hmm. the guy that lit up on fire and the Beast and yeah. all of that and Deadshot. Those were characters that I really liked. They, I, I cared for them. These characters I just did not care about at all. I don't know, and a lot of the the music choices were odd. I don't know what it was. It was just, it didn't really make me go like, oh, yeah, that's such a... It just, like, a lot of scenes were just put randomly in places that didn't make any sense. It was just... I don't know. I just, I did not like it. I heard somebody say on the way out of the movie it was better than the first one. I don't know what movie he was in. <laughs> no. Uh, but the one I was in had nothing that the first one had. Just like the Drew Drop said, there was, you may hate the first one with a passion, but it made the first one seem like poetry. 
The first one's one. a masterpiece of a movie compared and to And I this. liked the first one. I, they had had flaws, yes. It had a lot of flaws. Yes. And like it took, even the first one, they took somebody like Boomerang and made him a, a likable person. It made the team yes. come together. This one was blood and gore for blood and gore's sake. Exactly. I'm not saying I love blood and gore. I love Friday the 13th. I love horror. I love slasher movies. But you don't just go around just showing all the fancy ways you can kill people. I think that's going to be so cool. Yeah. It was cool for the first, like, five minutes. It was cool for the first five minutes, and it got old after a while. And it never stopped. It yeah, just it kept going stopped. and going. And I don't know what James Gunn's trip was on this one movie, because I loved his first two movies with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2. Like he said, the music choices, which helped Guardian Galaxy 2, that they were yeah. a little different, did not help this movie. No. They were just like, hey, let's pick a random, weird, kind of quirky song and stick it in here, and oh, it's going to be so mm -hmm. cool. It's like they were looking for the cool crowd. Maybe I'm too old to be the cool crowd. Maybe anyway. I'm just not getting it, but I just thought it was really odd choices, you know? And like you said, Harley Quinn, I thought I was, when they finally introduced Harley Quinn, Harley Quinn, I thought, well, all right, this will save it. She'll come yeah. in and she'll, uh, and I kind of was rooting for her. And then she was just a one note pony. She was all she was. She was like here and there. They didn't, didn't pull anybody in together. You tried to have like a heartfelt scene between a bloodshot, I guess his name was. Uh, he, you try to have a heartfelt thing with him and another character that likes rats. It just wasn't cute and with it it wasn't anything that would remotely see its chemistry between any of the characters none of the characters have i hate to say it but john cena was the most likable character to me john cena was <laughs> the most best part of the movie i don't know it's just i did not care for any of the characters yeah. i did not care even, for any even of even his likability was on the lower scale i yeah. mean of all the ones we didn't like he was our best one of the unlikables <laughs> should be called the unlikables yeah <laughs> the story for one was ignorant Exactly. Was the dumbest story I've ever heard of in my life. Yeah, the story made no freaking sense. It was stupid. And drug on and drug on. That could have been an hour and a half movie. It could have been a lot it better. It kept going. It kept going. At least it would have ended the, mis the misery of sitting through it. I was sitting there saying, is this thing going to ever be over? Yeah. It was like two hours and 12 minutes or something. It was, a, but, it was an hour and 12 minutes too long. Let me just say it's two hours and you feel the two hours. You feel the actual two hours. You feel every single second of it because it, it, you're going to feel it. And that's not good. They just really, they, I don't know. They just I thought they just threw stuff out there to see if it looked cool. Would this be funny if this happened? And like the Drew Drop said, I never laughed. Nope, it was not funny. I heard a few people kind of clap and laugh, and I thought, what the heck are they laughing about? The 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 jokes were not funny, and it was just... Also, not to mention, the CGI looked, looked way worse than, like, some 2000s movies. Like, some of the effects in that yeah. looked, like, god-awful. Like, I, some of them looked so bad that I, I wonder how it got approved by Warner Brothers to even ship to the theaters. That's how bad it looked. I don't know. I just I just felt like it was just a jumbled mess of junk. It just wasn't it just wasn't worth going out and wasting our time. It definitely was a big waste of our time, and I don't think you should waste your time watching it. So what's your rating when you go over? I say just skip it. Just skip the movie. There's no reason for you to watch this piece of garbage. This is just literally this piece of trash. And stuff, and if you like it, if you think it's, uh, you, if you have a different opinion, I mean, that's fine. But I'm just saying, I'm speaking my mind here. I just did not like it. I did not like the movie. I was not satisfied with this movie. I have no, if you, if people like this movie, that's their thing. Yeah. I dislike this movie. I will not buy this movie. I will not have nope. anything else to do with this movie. I say skip it with a big skip it. Don't no. waste your time. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't waste your money, because it is garbage for me too. It's just a, it's just not worth your time. It's just awful. That's it's, all I want to spend on time on this movie. Are you got anything else to say, Drew Drop? Don't got anything else to say. 
Well, all I'm going to say now is uh, thank you for watching the video here. I hope it gave you some insight into what we thought. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll tell you what we really think next. <laughs> but uh, we just wanted to say thank you for watching our videos, and we appreciate you here on the, the Bad Raven channel. Always remember the Bad Raven is your friend. We'll be back with more reviews for you because there's a, still a lot of movies coming out. From the Drew Drop and the Bad Raven, we're going to let you go, and we'll talk at you later. And drop out. Goodbye.